In this tutorial, we will learn how to use ImageJ software to count cell numbers and analyze the area and the intensity. To count the cell numbers, first let us import an image. This image is of cells stained with DAPI. In the first part of the tutorial, we will learn how to count the number of DAPI stained cells. First, the image has to be converted into an 8-bit or a 16-bit image. Next, adjust the threshold by clicking on Image, Adjust, and Threshold. Check on the option Dark Background and change the color to red. Use the slider above to change the DAPI staining to red. For example, now this cell here is red in color. The slider can be adjusted until all the foreground is completely red in color in a dark background. And then click Apply. The threshold window can be closed safely. The next step is to convert the image into binary. To do this, click on Process, Binary, and Make Binary. To count the number of cells successfully, it is important to single out the cells that are fused together in a group. For example, in this image, there are many cells that have been clustered together. The ImageJ software may count this cluster as one individual cell instead. Therefore, it is at most important to break the clustered cells into individual cells. This is achieved by watershedding the image. To do this, click on Process, Binary, and Watershed. Now, the clustered cells are converted into individual cells. For example, in this group of cells, white lines have been created by watershedding that splits the cells and separate from one another. Similarly, the rest of the clustered cells are also separated. Now, let us count the number of cells. Click on Analyze and Analyze Particles. In this dialog box, change the size from 200 to 25,000 and check on the pixel unit unless you would like to measure the size in inches. You can keep the circularity from 0.4 to 1. In this drop-down, we would like to select the outlines for counting the number of cells. Check on the Summarize and Exclude on Edge options, and then click OK. Now, all the DAPI stained cells have been converted into small red dots and circled with black lines. The summary window shows the name of the image imported along with the total number of cell counts. Our analysis shows the cell counts to be 465 in numbers. Along with the cell counts, it also displays the total area, average size, percentage area, and the mean value. Thus, we are successful in counting the number of cells. Now, let us analyze the area and the intensity of the cells stained with DAPI. To do this, first, let us select the particles to be analyzed. Retrieve the watershed image from earlier and then click Analyze and Measure. Again, click on Analyze and Analyze Particles. In this dialog box, check on the Add to Manager option and click OK. This step converts the watershed image cells into cells that are numbered. For example, this cell has been numbered as 189. The numbering of the cells is an important step since the area and the intensity will be assigned to the particular cell number. The ROI Manager dialog box pops up with a list of separate ROIs, one for each nucleus. Since our count show 465 cells, therefore, 
the ROI manager will list the ROIs up to 465. Next, click on Analyze and set measurements. In order to measure the area and the intensity, check the area and the mean gray value option and then click OK. Now, import the original unthresholded image into image J and pull up the ROI manager dialog box. Clicking on the individual cell numbers in the ROI manager dialog box would point out the cells in the image stained with DAPI. Check the show all and the label options. To measure the area and the mean intensity of the selected cells, click on analyze and measure. To measure the area and the intensity of all the cells, hold down the shift key and select the first ROI in the ROI manager. Scroll to the last ROI without releasing the shift key and click on the last ROI. At this stage, all the ROIs have been selected. Now, click on measure. The results show the area and the mean intensity of all the 465 cell counts. Click on results and summarize. This step will calculate the mean, standard deviation, minimum and the maximum of the area and the intensity. Thus, we successfully performed the cell counts and measured the area and the staining intensity of the cells. Thanks for watching the video. Do stay tuned for more such videos by subscribing to this channel.